Hello, long rodders. Welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing. Or if you're new here, welcome here. This is the channel where we teach you how to tie flies that catch fish, not fishermen. And we also take you out and show you how good these flies work. So if this sounds good to you, please like and subscribe. Today's video, we are going to make the most easiest, most deadliest streamer I know. Matter of fact, if I'm streamer fishing, this is only one of two flies I carry. I only carry two streamers, a woolly bugger, and this fly. And I hardly ever get the woolly bugger. I think I've never got the woolly bugger out in four years because this is the streamer I'll use. It's deadly and easy to tie, and it's all about this hat. So let's get to the fly right now. I'm sorry, I forgot to start the camera and I already started wrapping the lead. Well, I was gonna finish wrapping the lead on the hook for weight because you want this streamer weighted. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. Now we're gonna when we unfinish wrapping the lead, we're gonna break off the extra excess lead on both ends. Now we're going to start the thread behind the lead and wrap it forward and cover up the lead with some thread wraps. Now you're going to hit that with some fingernail head cement or if you use hard as nails, I got some white hard as nails here and we're going to hit that with some white and then let it sit up and Okay now we're going to grab our strung, see you can see it's strung marabou I didn't say this when I covered this video the first time. Um, you want the strung marabou so it's real long so you can wrap it around. So we get the strung marabou. Now you take the marabou you go all the way to the end and you're gonna tie that in as your tail and I make the tail pretty much the same sh length of the shank of the hook now we're not tying in mayfly tails so it don't really matter but that's how long I make the tail I like the tail a little long Now you're gonna take a couple thread wraps to secure it down, kind of like you're just tying in a woolly bugger tail. Then you're gonna pull the, after you get it secured down, you're gonna pull the rest of the feather back and run your thread towards the eye of the hook. Now, you're going to take the rest of the feather and you're going to wrap it forward towards the eye of the hook, hackle style, going towards the eye of the hook. You don't just want to wrap it in one ball. You want to wrap it towards the eye of the hook, hackle style. Now, when you get to the eye of the hook, you want to secure that feather down. Start forming the head of the fly and cut off the waist feather and form your uh, head of the fly. And once you get your head formed, whip finish it and that's it. It's that easy.
Hope you guys liked that video. That was an awesome video. It's quick, easy fly, and it is very deadly. And I, since I made the first video years ago, um, I've heard stories that it caught salmon and bass and just all kinds of fish. Even down out in the ocean, they've been using these. Um, so. I've, I had to redo it because the video, the old video wasn't all that great. So this one was a lot better quality. So tie these up, get them in your box because they're deadly everywhere and easy to tie. So tie them today. Get this one as your first fly of 2019. Put this in your box and you're going to be amazed at how deadly it is. Thank you for watching. You could check up other videos in here and our, check out our other tying videos, last year's playlist, and some older videos. Check them out and keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.